Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Fisher, and I'm here with a guided art activity for you for this week. Since we're talking all about plants and our stories about a vegetable garden, I thought it would be fun if we made a, our own garden. So what you need today is a plastic fork, a plastic spoon, some paint colors, a paintbrush, and a paper plate and a piece of paper. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put my paint out on my paper plate. And I'm going to start with my fork and I'm just going to choose whatever color I want to start with. And I'm going to get my fork really, really covered in that paint. And I'm going to take it and wherever I'd like to start my first flower, I'm going to press my fork down. And you'll see it doesn't really look too much like a flower yet, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. So I'm probably going to do one more of this color. Maybe over here. And then our spoon comes in. So the spoon is going to be kind of like the bottom of the flower. We're making springtime tulips. So I'm going to get my spoon covered in the paint. And I'm just going to stamp my spoon over what I did with my fork. And you definitely want to get more paint on it before you move on. And if you want, you can kind of change, slide up some of the color if you'd like on your flowers. And then um, if you have a lot of plastic forks, you can use more than one, but I only have the one. So I'm just cleaning it off. And then I'm going to choose another color to go ahead and use. I think I'm going to start with the blue. So again, I'm going to get my fork colored in the blue. And I'm going to choose another spot. Stamp down with the fork. And then clean off my spoon. just like that. And I'm going to keep going. Now that I have um, my flowers stamped on there with the fork and the spoon, I'm going to go ahead and draw my stems and my leaves. And these don't look quite like regular flowers, but they are fun for springtime flowers, and it's so much fun to paint with a spoon and a fork. So don't get stressed out if they aren't perfect. Remember, in art, nothing is perfect, and this is just for us to have some fun. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and paint my stem. And we have done painting in watercolor before where we paint from the ground up with our grass but I want to talk you through it now. So I'm starting with my paintbrush and I'm going to get it in my green color and just like how we do it when we're drawing with our block crayons or our regular crayons we want to draw the stem and the grass the way the grass grows. So instead of just kind of going in a line I'm actually going to flick my brush upwards. So I'm going to start with the grass and then we're going to come back and add the stems later. So you can see I'm just flicking upwards. And the brush, the natural like hairs on the brush will help create a really authentic grass look.
And you, you know, some pieces of grass are longer than other pieces of grass. Nothing's ever the same in nature. Everything's very imperfect and random, which makes it easier for us. Okay, so we're gonna do the stem of the flowers in a very similar way to how we did the grass that was growing beneath them. So I'm just gonna get some paint on my paintbrush and I'm not gonna draw a straight line because when you look at flowers in nature, they're never just sitting straight up. They're you know bent to the side, they're turning towards the sun. So I'm gonna kind of start a little bit tilted from whatever flower I'm you know drawing my stem up towards. And again, I'm gonna draw the stem the way it grows. So I'm just gonna carefully kind of curve upwards to meet my flower. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add some leaves onto the stems of our flowers. If you look at flowers in nature, a lot of times they have leaves growing off their stems. So that's what we're gonna do now. And we're gonna continue to use our paintbrush. So I'm gonna get my paintbrush covered in some paint. And again, I'm gonna draw the leaves kind of the way they would grow in nature. So I'm gonna go up with my paintbrush, up my stem, and then just kind of splay it out um, to the side to, to form a leaf. So again, like I'm growing up with my stem and then off to the side to form my leaf. And I might take my paintbrush back down to kind of make my leaf a little bit thicker if I need to. So up with my paintbrush, out to make my leaf, and maybe come around back down if I want to make it a little bit thicker. Up with my paintbrush, out with my leaf, and maybe come back a little bit. And you can put your leaves in different places. Maybe they're a little bit further up your stem and or maybe they're a little bit further down your stem. They haven't quite grown all the way up yet. However you like it. Okay, so there's my completed little flower garden. I hope you enjoyed painting with forks and spoons as much as I did. It's so much fun to paint, to make mistakes, um, and to explore nature by painting it.